Hey everybody, I jumped on the enamel dot train and uh, I'm going to tell you what I found. Um, this is the $4.95 toaster oven that I got at the thrift store the other day and it works great. It says it's king size, but it's like a little tiny. I mean, <laughs> you can see with my hand how small it is. Um, it came with a tray and I just cut um, one of my cooking sheets to fit it. Um, and then I used perler beads and I used mini pony beads. Okay. Um, I can tell you a couple things that I did learn is to make sure I had I used some large pony beads but I only had a couple random ones. Um, make sure that your beads are clean before you put them in there because if they're not clean every little um, you can see little specks in there. These I have pulled out of some old crafts. Um, this was on the tray and it made that dot get crooked when it melted. This one I think um, it was too hot when I had it turned on and it made them made it bubble. And that one's got a bubble in it. And then this is um, a mini pony bead and the perler. Um, okay. So the larger ones here obviously are the pony beads and I wanted to show you the temperature difference. This was the first. These were the first ones I put in there and I had it on. I think it was too high. They melted too fast. And then those are the second ones. They didn't melt quite, you know, quite down as quickly. Um, but they all did pretty well. The only thing I had a problem with was the first batch of, um, let me see if my camera's going to focus. The perler beads, um, I think some of them are around the outside got overdone for some reason. They, they're, they're kind of matte finish almost. Um, see if you can see that now that it focused. They're not as shiny. And the black perler beads had a real problem getting them to melt down without the divot in the top. But um, you can see the large pony bead and then the small pony beads. They call them mini pony beads and then that's the perler. And then there's clear, okay, the clear large ponies. Um, you can see the bubbles. And then this is the clear perler, which isn't really clear. It's kind of milky. And you can see all the, they turned out pretty well. I think they look really shiny and pretty, and you can see the different sizes. Um, this is kind of funny, though, with the large pony bead. You know, when the heat, the heat difference made it, you know, really, really big. And with this toaster oven, the way the, the setting is on here, it's kind of hard to tell where it's set. Um, the first, the uh, perler beads, I think I had them on about 300 for, I want to say, about 17 minutes. And there's my perler beads. I got those at Hobby Lobby with my coupon. They were $3.99. They come in pretty good colors, too. Here's kind of a selection of those. And then there's some more of the, the mini pony beads that I did. But anyway, I had fun doing it. Now, as far as smell, the uh, perler beads before I moved the toaster oven outside, they didn't smell at all. I mean, I didn't, I didn't notice the smell. I noticed the toaster oven um, kind of had a smell, but it was like toaster oven smell, probably because it hasn't been used in a long time. The uh, the mini pony beads, I took my toaster oven out on the deck. They did smell, but it wasn't real bad. Now, being it's outside, it might have made a difference. The large pony beads, when I did those, every time I opened the toaster oven, it was like, whoa. So, yeah, the large pony beads really stunk. And uh, it doesn't take any time. I want to say the large pony beads, the first time I put them in, it was almost at the 400 mark when they got really big. And it was only probably seven or eight minutes, maybe nine minutes, that they melted real quick. And then I, I dropped the temperature. So, the perler beads, 17 minutes, I think at about 300. Same thing with the mini pony beads, um, and then the large pony beads. So, you know, I just encourage everybody, if you can get your hands on a little toaster oven and you have somewhere outside to do it, we have a picnic table right outside um, our deck, you know, it's a covered deck, so that worked out really well. And it was really simple and fast. And this little tray doesn't look, I mean, you can see my hand doesn't look like it holds very much. But when you start lining those up there, um, you can put a bunch. And you don't have to separate them. You know, they don't have to be very far apart. 
so you can really load it up. You just have to be careful when you slide it in there. Because this one, it slides, this part slides out and then slides back in when you shut the door. Okay, uh, if anybody has any questions or comments or suggestions, anything, just leave, um, leave me a message below. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye.